So here we are with the vintage attic projects that I've done for the month. And I'm so, so sorry, but I did have to reshoot because I lost my video. And so I took an opportunity to do an extra layout, which is why my hands are all inky. So let's get started. And I wanna show you a couple of really fun techniques that I have found with this kit. So this one that I did just now that I've inked up my hands is called Cherished. And it is um, a layout about one of my be very best friends. And um, this, these were just taken last month for Christmas. We do an annual trip up to a mall there. But I wanted to show you so many fun things on this layout. First of all, this is the chipboard that is an add-on from Crate Paper this month. Now this chipboard um, frame started as red and white, kind of like this. And um, I liked it, but I just didn't think it popped enough. And once I did some um, aqua blue down here, I thought I wanted to tie it in. So really, really simply, I just took my Ranger ink dabber that we got last month, and I just added um, ink to it, just like this. And so that's how you can change the look of chipboard or um, lots of other accents. And that's what I did to this frame here. So that's a really fun idea, just to change things up. Don't be boxed in by the way they come. Then I added some journaling, that was my journaling spot, and I cut out some of the paper from um, Basic Gray. I loved, loved this Curio paper, which is very popular. I, this was an add-on for me. This was the Prima uh, Lace and Pearl swirls that come together, and I, as you can see, I cut it up, which I talk about a lot. So I was able to put some on each part of my word and kind of frame it, and then I added a little bit up here to the corner of my journaling block. Now these were also included in the kit. These are some tabs from Basic Gray which I love, and they have adhesive on the inside so that you, oh, hello. These are the tabs that I love from Basic Gray, and these have in, adhesive on the inside so that they stick to both sides of your paper, and then they have a pop dot on the back to put on your project. So that's this one right here, Sweet Memories. And then another piece of chipboard um, from the add-on kit, and then this is one of the glazed brads that I got in the kit. I love that. I love the butterfly. And then this is that fabulous wood veneer alpha. And I want to show you what I did with this. So I've got a couple extra pieces here that I'm probably not going to use a Q and a Z anytime soon. And I have found that there are two ways that you can um, ink these up. Oops, I'm going to use orange for demonstration purposes. But this is Glimmer Mist. This is Tiger Lily. I know we have this in the store. So you can just quickly give it a spray and look at the saturated color that gives. And then um, I need to grab a paper towel. Sorry I wasn't prepared. And you want to blot off the excess. So then you can go over this again and again if you would like more color or if you wanted to simply add some more color by either um, stamping on it with the um, daubers here, the ink blending tool, you can use that. And I also wanna show it to you in the red with the Ranger ink. This is a really another easy way to add color. And this is what I did with my word cherished. I just took the um, Broken China ink and I simply just inked it up with the ink blending tool just like I did now with this cue. Now I did that several times to get a nice deep color and then I just edged it with my actual um, pad itself in um, vintage photo. Well, this is vintage photo. And just had it, was able to make it stand out a little bit. I love this layout. This is one of my new all time favorites because she's such a special friend to me. So that's going up. All right, next project really fun little um, friend card. And I liked this because it looked really masculine. So um, I took some gold cardstock that I had and some black because what you'll notice in this add-on, which was the Curio um, cardstock stickers, lots of gold, deep red, and black. And I love that, and green. So um, I really wanted to make a manly card. And what I did was I took um, one of the cardstock stickers here. And also we got some canvas stickers from Basic Gray in our kit. I got this one, which was this little frame, and I got this tag, which I haven't used yet. But this little frame had a butterfly underneath it, and it, I just thought how fun to put this butterfly that came from the sticker sheet right here, and I pop dotted it, and I added some red stickles to it. Can you see the red stickles? Just to give it some red color, and I added some red stickles to this um, border element sticker also and actually to my little Brad there. I thought the red stickles would be fun there. So it's all about um, building on this card. And then these are those wonderful cushy alphabets from Pink Paisley. Um, look how, I'm gonna show you the actual cush if I can. Look at when you push down 
yeah baby cushy and look how moldable they are that's what i love about them is because they're so cushy and you can just um push them and put them wherever you want they're going to build upon each other and yet stay in place and they are a beautiful they really um have a nice slant to them so it's almost like a cursive feel and i love that so what i did with this is i had bright yellow ones which were way too bright with my card this is lemon so what i did is i took um I'm going to finish off my card by showing you. Whoops. Okay, this is a parenthesis from the cushy. And what I did was I put this um, fired brick ink over it. And I just inked it up. Isn't that cool? How easy you can do that and put as much as you want on there. Now, what I loved about this, I'm going to peel it off of my craft mat. What I loved about this is that you can still see the, the yellow on the edges, which is really pretty with this. And I just wanted to add this right here. So now I feel like it's complete. And isn't that pretty? I love these element stickers. So I haven't decided on a sentiment yet, but it's gonna be a nice card, I think. And then lastly, I wanna do um, talk about my new do, because this is a new me for um, the year 2011. Um, lots of change this year in 2010. I'm done with it, let's be moving on. So first thing is I took this um, paper from, oh, see, this is why you wipe up your messes. This, I used this paper from um, Basic Gray. Love that side, but, ooh. oh, come on. This O will not stick. Okay. O, out. Um, so I used this paper, and I wanted to use the mask, which was so fun this, this month in this kit. This is from Prima. And um, I laid it on here, and I actually put it on my craft mat, and I put a little piece of tape there so it would stay in place. And then I laid it down you can see. And then I took um, suede. I took suede glimmer mist. I'm just going to use this for demonstration purpose. And I just sprayed, 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 sprayed all over so that it wouldn't be just right here in a glob. So I sprayed and it gave such a beautiful sheen to this paper. I hope you can see that in the light. Really pretty sheen. And then I went over it just for fun and I took some brown stickles with a paintbrush and I just um, put some on the craft mat and then I just kind of brushed it over here. And I liked the um, shadow effect it gave around all of the mask and made it stand out and gave it a little bit of glitz and glamour because I'm all about glitz and glamour. I added some um, chipboard flowers from the chipboard add-on. Loved those because I loved the plum, how it picked up in my jacket. And then I just simply did a lot of different alphabets. Um, this is thickers. These are the um, really fun root beer, I think they're called, um, glittery. And then these are some pink paisley. These are the gushy alphabets. And again, I love just the cursive feel with the gushies. And then this is some more of that um, uh, wood veneer. And this is um, inked with black cherry, I think. And then more just repeating. And then another down here, this is that pomegranate color that's brand new. It's from um, Heidi Swap at Tattered Angels and my new do and then just a little bit of journaling about it and that's done people i love that it just really tells a little story and keeps up with my life and brings me into 2011 and with that i wanted to tell you thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon